This is a small tour of Rest Day in Takamatsu City. So enjoy. This is the street next to my house. Um, which is quite nice. Vending machine just there. Of course, in Japan, there's vending machines everywhere. There's a shrine at the top of that hill, um, which is really pretty. Uh, I only went up there the one time when I first came in Japan. I took my camera up there to try and take some photographs, but I was just, you know, far too hot. So I ended up running back down and just taking photographs with my iPhone. Uh, it was nice up there, but man, it's hot. You know, Japan can get hot sometimes. Um, and I live next to this bus stop, which is really useful actually, because, uh, you know, you get a bus in town pretty easily. And of course, we've got a vending machine as well, because in Japan there's vending machines everywhere. Yeah, it's nice here. I like my part time. There's this nice uh, shrine kind of thing, which is really close to my house. Quite nice. Posters seem to be everywhere across Japan. There's quite a few of them nearby, actually. Um, and of course, there's a Coca-Cola sign, because uh, Coca-Cola gets everywhere in the world. Thank you, America. Uh, yeah. It's just as popular here as it is anywhere else in the world. Though sadly, Japan seems to have never heard of Iron Brew, which is uh, a little bit sad. I don't think they're cherry blossoms, but they are very nice. They look like cherry blossoms, but uh, they can't be. Oh, takoyaki shop. I've never been there actually. I really do want to go. Um, I should really go sometime. It's the shrine. Little hand, turn it away. Yeah. It's the rubber. Beautiful. Sites at the shrine near my house. Yeah. And then we have the Sakura. Very beautiful indeed. Very, very beautiful. Got some impressive statues as well. Doesn't look very happy. Beautiful smell from the Simpsons 6. Tanuki. And of course, you can identify Tanuki by their rather large testicles. Put the money in the box. And you take a wish.
this is a convenience store in Japan. Um, if you know what they're like in the UK, you've got like spa and stuff like that, you know, kind of have small shops. Uh, this is kind of a similar concept, except it's executed much better, generally I would say. 24-hour um, access, pretty much all of them. This is one of the chains called Sunkus. Um, Sunkus is kind of, uh, it's not my favourite, but this one's really close to my house, so I've come here a lot. I'll do a proper video for me in stores another time, but uh, I don't want to be rude just now. I'd rather wait, so it's kind of a good opportunity. Food served in the convenience store, absolutely amazing, absolutely delicious. I love it. Okay, yeah, I don't want to do too much in there because again, I didn't want to be too rude, um, you know. But anyway, uh, it was nice, got my entry. Look at this. Convenience here is really good actually. Just, um, Anytime of the day or night, I need something to make this pop over and get with milk or a snap or something. We can call it even quite lucky, we've got 24 hour ass stuff. It's just, it's just, you have to drive there from my house, it's kind of a distance, you know, here's kind of convenient. Because, you know, in Japan, they're everywhere. These little stores, they're all over the place. So, you know, you're, you're never short of supplies, which is great. This is the bridge, the cycle over, and over there is the big. Eon shopping mall. This is Eon right here, uh, which is literally the next thing on from that bridge. So I've got quite a lot of convenience on my doorstep, you know. Big three story shopping mall. Uh, I love it. It's got Starbucks, it's got Mr. Donuts, it's got all sorts of cool stuff. It's really nice. And a big supermarket as well, which is obviously really handy. And a bike repair shop, which, you know, is also very useful. So I am very much content. My uh, supermarket, where I uh, come to quite a lot, at Eon. It's pretty nice actually, I like it. It's pretty big actually, there's all the cosmetics over there. So this is Eon Mall. I come here quite a lot to do my shopping. Um, it's really big. It's got three floors. Uh, big fan. You notice that a lot of the signs um, are written in kind of English words, so it's kind of a fashionable thing. Yeah, even in Japan they have lots of um, English words. Even though... A lot of people can't speak English, um, which is a lot, lot, but, you know, I suppose maybe that's why I'm here. Um, yeah, there's a lot of famous chains, you'll notice. Um, particularly upstairs, we've got a massive food court, and the food court is, um, you know, McDonald's and, you know, all that kind of stuff. Um, there's a Starbucks just on the corner here as well, which you'll see. There's kind of a stage area here, and uh, on this area. A lot of people um, basically perform uh, for the kids usually, and like magic shows and stuff like that, it's really quite nice. You can pose for photograph on here. I'm not going to do that, but <laughs> if you want to, you kids, there's a stage. Um, three fours. Something, huh? Starbucks there. Go up to the third floor. Um, as you can see, it's a big, big place. Of course, nice. And there's some like prams you can push the kids around in. And pan man in the front, kind of nice. Food court. Actually, extends all the way around the back, I'll show you. It's these little machines, capsule toy machines. Hundreds of them. And that's just the start because it goes all the way on. And this is the food court, which is pretty big, you know. This is my favourite ramen shop. I adore this one. You'll work your road through as well. But takoyaki on the go. Right, here we go. McDonald's. You can't escape from it. It's everywhere in Japan, in Japan and all over the world. Nakidis. You know quite a few girls who go absolutely nuts for this stuff. You've got like Hell Kitty and Rirakuma and all these kind of characters that everybody loves. SpongeBob. Stickers are surprisingly popular in Japan as well. All sorts of stationery here, you know, stuff that people might like, enjoy. Usually stuff for girls, but there's a lot of boy stuff too. Okay, Pure Beast is something amazing because this really blew my mind the first time I saw it. This is Pure Cura over there. That's um, 
All the Japanese girls do it on the weekend. It's just, you know, they get the photographs taken and they put the Photoshop on the boots. This place is crazy. The Golden City. Okay, let's check it out. It's going to work on arcades. Yeah, super cool machines are incredibly popular. Like, it's insane. Um, you would not believe it. The amount of girls that go on these machines and like do all this stuff. It's really popular with students, actually. I've noticed some boys, actually, have like the stickers that they get printed out of these machines. Because obviously they print your photographs with stickers. Um, they've actually got them in like um, their school textbooks with pictures of themselves and their friends. And boys have got this done as well. It's really cool. So yeah, check this out. It's like a massive arcade area. That's just, you know, like... Like 10 minutes away from my door. I guess I never really come here because, you know, I was going to go to the arcade to go with my mate, so I got somewhere like round one. Um, typo, and that's an amazing game. Play uh, the drums and basically, uh, yeah, you beat them with um, the drumsticks. Some uh, games. Tons of these games, you know. Well, this place is big, you know. Um, that said, it's still kind of small in comparison to what the arcades have seen. But yeah, it just kind of gives you a feel for. How, um, how densely packed Japan is because there's so much stuff here in just a sm small area. Ah, uh, time crisis. I didn't know it was here actually, not. No games. Mario Kart arcades. Yeah, I played that actually. Oh, it's Mario Kart Arcade 2. Interesting. What's the one piece of stuff on the same one? Pretty nifty, right? This is the Udon shop that I like to go to. I'm here quite a lot actually, frequent it. So I'm to Udon. And chopsticks you get. This is a cafe that's right next to my house. And uh, it's actually the first time I've been here. Yeah. It should be. So this is my first time. Um, kind of cool. Um, Keep my voice down, control it. I'm not going to when you're in the shop. I don't think it's kind of too polite. I'm surprised I've never been here before. It's quite nice. Um, Grab some rice. And uh, yeah, if it's nice, then I'll come back again. Cool. So you got some drinks over there. You see outside the window, you see the shrine over there, and that'll walk up. Kind of nice, right? Nice place. So I ordered some home rice, but I uh, made a mistake actually with the curry rice, but I just sort of ordered without thinking what I was doing. Uh, whoops. I had omelette, that's kind of like covered in tomato sauce and probably with this white rice, which is just nice, you know. But um, I don't like tomato sauce that much. <laughs> I'm one of the few people in the world who's actually like ketchup that much. That's no, okay, but I just kind of don't really care much for it, so. Oh well, keep that in that. Okay, so this is the shrine. Um, I'll take you up to the top. It's quite nice up here. Um, you get a beautiful view. I haven't actually been up here since um, the first weekend I spent in Takamatsu, which is many, many months ago, like nine months ago, I think. Uh, there's some sakura blooming, but unfortunately they're starting to shed their petals a little bit, which is a little bit of a shame. Um, so let's head up here, and I'll be able to show you the beautiful view of the city. It's a beautiful hill there. It's Mount Katsuga, I believe, um, which is rather big. I don't know if you can see those cherry blossom leaves, it's in the dark, it's kind of hard to get in the shade, unfortunately. Sakura petals on the ground. It's a Tory gate there, which marks the transition from the sort of normal world to the divine world. Um, in the sort of Japanese mythology. It's a heck of a climb, I'm not going to lie. It's a brilliant view of my town down there. That part of town. Of course, in one of my very first blog entries about Takamatsu, I showed some pictures from up here. You see the dogs. One of them has a mouth closed, one of them has a mouth open. Maybe they're wines, I'm not sure. Or dragons. 
and the terrain in question with cherry blossom next to it. Oh, this one is brilliant actually, up here. It's a beautiful cherry blossom. Wow, it's a big green butterfly. It's beautiful up here. I really love the view. And this uh, statue, uh, I don't know if you can see because of the light, but there's a nice um, statue inside. Some nice leaves, I think these are sakura. And there we go, there's Takamatsu City for any obstructions. And the Seito Inland Sea, and a panoramic view of Takamatsu City, which is where I live in Japan. Hey, it's nice, it's not too big. Yeah. And there's lots of things here to see and do. Of course, the main site is over in the distance over there. Um, and I often have to cycle there, home in Japan. And just look at that coast. Wow. So, on that note, Ikimashu, it's Japanese for Let's go. There's the um, harbour that's right next to my house. Kind of brings back from the memories of Kripari for me, actually, because uh, Kripari is right next to the harbour. So, there's a guy washing a boat over there. So, yeah, real close to my house, just like Kripari. And, yeah, home sweet home. And, I'm not going to show you inside because it's pretty messy right now.